all major progress occurs in difficult times and this is the difficult time that needs action to be taken this is when we need to act this is where we need to develop so that we can ensure um, a great and prosperous future The International Watercolour Renaissance Project is a 100% free training for anybody who chooses to inscribe. You can be professional, amateur, um, working in a gallery or art manufacturers. It doesn't matter because the goal of this project is to strengthen the watercolour market and strengthen the structure which carries our market and carries our watercolour field. In one of the last issues of the Art of Watercolour magazine, I spoke about the watercolour cycles. I, ex I explained what these cycles are, um, how one country basically carries the torch of, uh, of watercolour, inspires um, other countries, and then after a decade, basically, another country takes that, um, that dynamic on. Now, these are standard cycles. Basically, what happens is that you have a synergy of, of several artists which basically work in competition because they're local. They work in competition with each other, which spurs them on to try harder to achieve greater goals, to produce greater work. So the level rises. As the level rises, the popularity of the population around starts to adhere, starts to follow um, this movement. And then you end up with a domino effect, which means more galleries, more events, um, more artists beginning, um, greater development in my art materials. It's a domino effect, which then basically creates positive effects for everyone involved. In 2015, social media took over. Social media, that became the Instagram, the Facebook, um, the websites, the, the, share, the sharing of an absolutely monumental number of images, of exhibitions, of competitions, of artists began to develop. But this became an international affair. Gone were the days of the national watercolour cycle, which we had already and always used. This cycle was based on local galleries, local artists, um, local markets, local populations, and obviously local trends. This system was basically put to rest in 2015. In about a year to a year and a half, there will be a massive explosion of watercolour. Another boom, if you like, but we are not ready for it. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, we are not ready for it. Let me explain. What happens is that watercolour, unlike oil painting, unlike other arts, water, watercolour is a financially closed market. Now, this financially closed market basically works in the sense that it is the amateurs, some professionals, some amateurs, but the lovers, if you like, of watercolour are the ones that buy the paintings and they're also the ones that inscribe in the courses. They are the market that is holding the watercolour um, field together. The problem being today there are less people that are financing the watercolour scene and there are a lot more people that need to be financed. So this is very unsustainable. This is not a pattern that can work financially and it needs to be changed. There is a watercolour boom on the horizon. There is, I believe, a need to change or develop the structure which you are that needs to support basically um, the international events, all of the artists and all of the, the dynamic, which is happening and which is brilliant in the watercolour field. But if we don't bring a more solid structure to the field, all of the great events that we're going to create are going to see little sales, little, um, little investment in the sense of workshops and, and demonstrations. And it will only be that closed market which can afford to, to, to support the, the dynamic. What we need to do is we need to expand the market. We need to expand the market. Therefore, we need to analyze the market, understand the market, see what needs to be done on the local populations because every single event is local. 
Every single event is promoted as international, but it's the locals that come. Okay, there are some international people that come, but the majority are the locals. So we need to focus. We need to go back and focus on the local. We need to go. We need to go back and we need to strengthen the local infrastructure, the local um, uh, market, the local publicity, the local population, understanding the local trends. And this is what I would like to bring to the table. 100% free training that will allow you to understand how all of this needs, in my opinion, to be done. This is such an amazing time. This is such an incredible time. And I wish everybody would understand that because this is the time where change is going to occur. This is the time where you can create whatever it is that you want. We can create the watercolor scene that we want to happen tomorrow. So what happens is that when we're comfortable, when things are working, no change occurs. There's no need to progress because everything's fine. But what happens every single time when there is despair of some sort, political, social, financial, this is when people are pushed to their limits. This is when people are forced into change. This is when people are forced into action. And these action, this, this, this dynamic, this energy is what makes things propel to a higher level. This is when things progress. So I will say thank you for listening to me and I speak to you soon.